Hey guys, before you do today's work for Thursday, I wanted to give you some helpful hints about how to balance equations, which you already know how to do. But real quick, I want to make sure you remember, look at the symbol. Are you adding or subtracting? Super important. The lines might look a little weird how they were put in the um, learning map, but that they just mean for example, they mean six plus four, and then the lines look like three little dashes, but it just means blank plus blank or blank minus blank, all right? You're just looking for two numbers to fill them out. So here, Rhett's making sounds while I work. Um, here I have the same equation on both sides, and they're both addition, right? But this one, we need to balance it with addition. This one, we're going to balance it with subtraction. So six plus four, we should all know is a make 10 fact, right? Six plus four equals 10. So whatever we put in here also has to add to 10. Now he's barking at the dog. He hears all the dog. Hey, hey, come on. Trying to help the first graders here. All right. So six plus four is a make 10 fact. What's another make 10 fact off the top of your head? Five plus five, right? So six plus four equals five plus five. That is a balanced equation, okay? Now down here, we have six plus four equals blank minus, 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 minus blank. So do not add, be very careful with those, my friends. Six plus four still makes 10. What's a fact you know that gives you the difference of 10? Twenty minus ten. Twenty minus ten equals ten. Eleven minus one equals ten. Twelve minus two equals ten, and so on and so on. All right. So remember that when you're about to do your work today, and don't forget to look at the symbols. Bye, guys. Keep working hard.